some water quality problems aren't only defined by the borders of a watershed. Political and economic boundaries also shape the problem. Manure management is one of those problems. In big pork-producing states like North Carolina and Iowa, nothing gets folks fired up faster than a good hoglot debate. Record high nitrates, antibiotics in our water. We've had half the beaches in the state at state lakes close. We've had a whole series of fish kills uh, throughout the state. Uh, Iowans want the issue of water quality uh, and the negative impact of uh, animal confinements on water quality be, to be addressed. To some, they're the sweet smell of money. To others, the smell is anything but sweet. Large animal confinements represent a major shift in farming, from small family operations raising a few hundred head to large confinements raising thousands of animals at a time. Critics say the sheer concentration of animals makes the farms major environmental hazards to the air, the land, and, you guessed it, the water. Most of the stink, at least where water quality is concerned, centers on the way hog confinements manage manure, a potential water pollutant. The farms raise thousands of animals, which produce tons of manure. The most common way to manage the manure is to store it in earthen lagoons. Uh, the lagoons uh, can uh, seep into uh, groundwater, and they can spill over, which has happened from time to time. The threats from storage, the spills and the leaks, aren't the only problems. Farmers use manure as fertilizer for their fields. And whether the manure comes from a large operation or a small one, it has to be applied correctly. You know, you can be a small farmer and still screw up the groundwater. We know that from history. Uh, but the, the one factor which, uh, in which scale does make it more difficult to protect the water quality is that when you concentrate a lot of animals in one place, then it becomes uh, economically difficult to spread that manure over enough land so that you don't over-apply it. And that, in turn, of course, uh, is, a, is a threat to, uh, uh, to the water quality. The more hogs you have, the more manure you have, and the more land you need to absorb it. Over-application results in runoff, which can put two major pollutants right into the water. Excess nutrients, or worse, pathogens, both of which are found in animal manure. In Iowa, manure runoff is thought to be a major contributing source of bacteria, which forced beach closings during the summer. So if these operations are such a threat, why doesn't the state just shut them down? Two reasons. The first is money. Hog production has a $12 billion economic impact in Iowa, an impact the state can't afford to lose. The second reason? Not every operation is a threat to water quality. In fact, many farmers are taking the proper steps to protect water, acting as good stewards of our natural resources. Alan Burt and his family run a large hog operation in central Iowa and take protecting water very seriously. My role as a farmer with the water is, first of all, there's no more water ever being created. What is here is here. And so for me to poison or contaminate the water that runs down through our creeks and rivers wouldn't be a smart thing to do. Bert says his operation goes the extra mile to keep manure on the land and out of the water. We try to maintain a small amount of tillage so that our manure doesn't leave the farm. Uh, we put up grass waterways, buffer strips, we plant a lot of trees. All of which are examples of recommended best management practices, or BMPs. Unfortunately, not every farmer uses those BMPs. Because of political and economic influences, there are no simple solutions to this problem. Legislation, regulation, management changes, new technologies, they're all options that could help keep animal manure from threatening water.